real Tom Rose. We're solving a volume problem, and we've been asked to find the volume of a cube. Now we could calculate the volume of the cube if we had the length, because the volume of the cube is of course equal to the length cubed. Now what we're told is that the area of four faces, so actually four times the area of one of the square faces is equal to 36. That's one of the pieces of information that we're given. And so we can actually calculate the area of one of the square faces is equal to 36 over 4, which is 9. Right, you get that by dividing both sides by 4. Now the area of a square is of course equal to the length of that square squared. You'd have to have that formula memorized, but if length squared equals 9, you can take the square root of both sides and show that the length of the square is equal to plus or minus 3. Now of course since we're dealing with a real object here, we know that the length is equal to 3. There's no, you can't have a negative 3 length. Um, we'll notice now that we actually have the value of the length of one of the sides, which we can plug in to get what we've been asked to find. So I'm going to plug the length of 3 into our volume of equation. So volume of the cube will be equal to 3 cubed, which is equal to 27. And that will be your answer.